just flat out be honest with you, I have not been this nervous to talk to someone in a long time. <laughs> I'm nice. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not doubting that you are an icon, and uh, uh, you've you've been on my interview bucket list for years. So. (laughs) (laughs) We'll just start off with, um, your relationship with Alan Amato and how you became involved as one of the models for this graphic novel. Um, I've been friends with Alan for, oh, I don't, I don't even know how many years, but for, for many moons. And honestly, I was kind of like a fan of his first. Um, I had seen his work and he was started working with a lot of like sex workers. I, I, for me, he's famous for working with sex workers, a lot of porn stars and like every everyone in between. Like he's got such a like broad range of people who he's seen naked. Um, <laughs> so I kind of like really wanted to be one of the people who showed him their butt cheeks. Uh, right. <laughs> so <laughs> A simple uh, goal that people would like to have everything in their life, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was really lucky enough to work with him. Um, um, first on his book slip um that was my first time working with him Mm. and then since then i've worked with him uh numerous times i he tells me that i'm one of his most photographed models so far so i've showed him my butt cheeks a lot and and, uh, he's just great like the way he takes pictures of people is really cool and i think that's why so many people are comfortable showing themselves to him <laughs> mm-hmm. what is the uh, the graphic novel it's, it's punch two volume uh and you are on the cover the hard cover for it there's yeah. going to be an autograph signing and yes. it's coming out on saturday august the 17th but like i know about it you know about it clearly but uh, for those who don't what is punch <laughs> about punch is a really cool comic book um and alan's really dope he always takes his friends and makes them into characters and they fuck shit up uh so it's really cool to like um like it's me like i'm in there and mm-hmm. i'm like blah, blah. i'm way more kick-ass and like uh more coordinated than i am in real life so <laughs> uh the, the the pictures the art the story it's all really good mm-hmm. it's all honestly good i wish i had it i have some of alan's books like right here in front of me but i don't have punch right here i wish i could just show you the book because mm-hmm. it's really <laughs> You're not the only star that's actually being featured in this either. You have uh, Ryan Keeley, uh, Cassie Calvert, as well as uh, Thomas Jane, famously known know. as one of the Punishers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cool, like, he has such a cool mix of friends. Like, um, and, like, the, the people in it are, like, from everywhere. Like, how did you get the Punisher and, like, Casey <laughs> Calvert and Anna Fox and Ryan Keeley? Like, that's really dope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You are no stranger, though, to uh, being in uh, almost animated or superhero type situations as your 10 plus year career has taken you from different genre and different genre and different genre, even right in the mix of some of the most wild gonzo bonkers spoof series. There was a Star Trek one that you were in years ago. Like this is this is kind of sort of like just another feather in the cap for your ability to basically be a chameleon. It's been fun. It's 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 been really honestly like a blast. I never I never thought I was that cool before I got into porn. You know, like I I don't think I would have done all of that cool stuff if I wasn't in the industry. I'd be a square. Um, so yeah, it's been really, honestly, really cool to play like Uhura. I'm a Star Trek fan. Um, I played Terry Crews's character in The Expendables. I was in Deadpool. You know, just a bunch of. There's been so many. <laughs> yeah, they're all really cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, to dip back uh, into your career, 
before you got into the adult industry, you famously stated mm-hmm. that you were a fashion model and, yeah. and then made that decision to basically challenge yourself to move forward into something that you had been basically desiring for a while. Pretty much. I didn't feel confident in fashion modeling because I feel like mainstream or at the time had a very good way of just like fucking with your brain. Like, you know, you're never good enough. Right. Um, And I always wanted to have good sex. And it was when porn came up, I was like, wow, like I to go learn like from professionals who just fuck people and. It sounds like good. It sounds like a win-win to me. It's like it's a little bit of like modeling, but you get to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> there's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot more vocal acting as opposed to uh, facial acting. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. It, it's. I feel like it's going. It feels like going to the gym on camera, but naked. Uh, it feels very vulnerable. I feel very vulnerable in the gym. So that's what it feels like. It feels like you're working out in front of people, but like making sure that they don't think you're in like uncomfortable or anything. But it's de- definitely like, I'm like, oh, shit, I never fuck for this long. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do. I, I would hope that you at least have like the opportunity to like call cut and then like grab a Gatorade or something like that, come back to it. Oh, uh, definitely. They're very nice. They're very nice. You, We have the power of cut at any moment, but I like to, like, go through it, like, go through the motions. I like to, like, if I could, I would like to go start to finish without cutting right. um, if, if everything was okay, like, as long as I'm not, like, dying or dehydrated or whatever. Yeah. Um, but, like, if everything's good, I, I would prefer to go all the way through because I think it's cool, like, your body changes, like, after a couple minutes in like uh, like halfway through like you're like drenched in sweat and i'm like oh god this is a different me (laughs) (laughs) never 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 so much of a bad day at work i I would suppose right right you just it's it's like cool things happen it's it's like a runner's high i guess in porn (laughs) so it's cool (laughs) with uh again and touching back to uh how why we're talking today um there's an incredible fandom when it comes to different forms of art and uh, graphic novels have come a long way over the years and have even become uh, some of the like the 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 pillars for incredible storytelling when it comes to film or television and you have created this fandom around you and your abilities and your your way of marketing and being a part of different uh projects has has it ever taken you back like you just have to take a moment to just be stunned at the fandom that you've created yeah i think i'm practically every day i'm like amazed because um i i don't know i've i've watched porn but i'm not i'm not a fan of like anything besides glitter and food so you know whenever people are fans of anything i'm like amazed like people who are sports fans and they know like this person's stats like they went to this high school blah 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 like i feel like people have that same passion for me and i'm like mm. wow i'm just a small town girl you know like, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> i'm just chilling like it's really cool because i'm just really here ultimately for myself and it's like cool that people think i'm cool people yeah. you know admire me so yeah i I appreciate that. <laughs> even even your social media feed, like your Instagram, as well as your OnlyFans, like there's a there's amazing amount of support and positivity in the comments I, and with the interactions of your your posts. Be it from simple day to day life to some of the most fantastic uh, photo shoot results possible, like you just you just have that incredible supportive fan base, which is. It's yeah. it's it's amazing at the same time it seems to be a growing trend within the adult industry. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that they like me. <laughs> 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 it feels like I have a whole bunch of like boyfriends. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, virtual boyfriends everywhere and I'm like wow, I have all the digital love in the world. <laughs> other products that you have been a part of you are also correct me if i'm wrong you are a spokesperson for fleshlight and um are an active model within that product and it, it, it's it's not easy from what i can understand of being a fleshlight model it takes patience 
I feel like it can be hard being a fleshlight model for sure yeah. um, because you know you you can have fans, but how many fans like want to buy your butthole or <laughs> your pussy? Yeah, uh, you know, it, it, you would think it would sell itself, but some sometimes you you gotta you gotta push for it. But I think I'm fortunate en- enough to be like unique in a way that like my fans like kind of only have like mine to choose from if they're fans of me right like i'm the only fleshlight in my skin tone they have other browns and things like that but as far as i know <laughs> i'm the only pussy butthole combo in the female that in that flesh tone so it yeah. makes it easier for me to be able to be like well <laughs> if you like donuts i'm a chocolate donut <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that like? Because you know, like I, I am aware, like you have to actually sit there for the mold and be a part of it. But then, like them taking it upon themselves to actually like try to tone match your skin color. Yeah, you know, you know what was funny is I had no idea, uh, like the routine of how they make fleshlights because mm. I'd never had one, so I didn't know like that it was like really, like. I felt like a 007 person or something like it was really cool like they like did like a little scan of my pussy and then like molded it and like they wanted me to um use a vibrator so my pussy could be like as like poofy pussy as it, as it could possibly be and I was like I fucks with that so <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like the fattest version of my pussy you could have and then when it came out I did have some people criticized the color but i was like hold on hold on yeah let me show you something <laughs> yeah 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 they, one to one <laughs> it's the same they did they did a damn good job and it's it, like it cracks me up every time i see my flashlight because i can't help but be like what, what? <laughs> <laughs> not many people what in this there? world yeah not many people in this world can actually have like uh, something that is created there and and be able to like match one to one did a good job did a good job (laughs) that's that's me right there (laughs) what what can someone expect uh when it comes to the uh the autographing and the uh the book signing which is happening on saturday august 17th oh my god um i i get so excited when i go outside for any reason but like to go meet people who want to come meet me right even if it's just one person like that's really fucking cool like you like me enough to come and come see me and like want to get this autograph like it's a really cool book everybody is in it like i want to autograph too from the punisher or she could slap me or something um but like it's really cool so i get excited like I definitely talk to my fans. I have to tell myself not to touch people. Like I, I definitely always ask for consent because I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. Like, look, you came, <laughs> like I'm like Barney. Like you came to meet me. Like <laughs> it's so exciting. So mm. I'm really excited to go and then like also see people that I admire and like it's Alan's last day in LA. So that. it's kind of like farewell. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited. So okay, like you know, let's let's shout out Alan for a moment here. Like Alan's last day in Los Angeles, uh, yeah, going to be a part of this event on Saturday. But like bigger and better things, like from LA. What what is he up to? Um, I'll find out Saturday. Oh okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's moving to a really cool city, though, so I'm definitely gonna go visit. There will be more Alan and Anna combos, you know. Gotcha. We'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like when you first met him, though? Like, were you aware of his work? Were you aware of yeah. his abilities? Yeah, I was super honored to meet him because he's his work is so cool. Mm. And then to meet him in person, he's like an even cooler person. Like, uh, his whole place, his whole vibe, his whole style is very much unique like you will never meet another person like that Mm. and it's it's like it's like it's like a cool it's such a cool thing you're like wow look at you and i'm i'm in it now i'm part of it and like yeah i feel like a part of you a little bit so (laughs) it's an honor it's really cool i i i admire so much about him and and 
so many people do because he's seen he's his work proves it he's his books are full of amazing people mm. that that admire him as well so i'm just i'm just happy that i'm along for the ride <laughs> so again uh alan amato and cover artist is uh jason sean alexander and the big event is happening on saturday august 17th as for you though uh as you stated when you, you heard that you and i were gonna have a conversation today you kind of had your hands full <laughs> did you have uh big projects on the way as well are you taking some time off or well i i'll, I'll use this opportunity uh i guess to kind of i don't i don't i don't see why not just to, to talk about what i did yesterday it was pretty awesome i did a girls ways have has a birthday coming up and i got to participate in their 10 year anniversary 10 girl uh orgy called come out and play and it's directed by brie mills and it was so much fucking fun mm. uh i wish i could name the girls but like if i can't get all 10 first and last name i'm not gonna <laughs> even start i need to i need to see a list but they uh, sh- Man, man. <laughs> yeah, I put the dick on. <laughs> well, that's cool. Congratulations for being a part of that. Thank you. It was great. So <laughs> that and then um, I'm always excited to produce for Playboy. So I do have something coming out and I do have something coming up. And both of them, I didn't think I could do. I didn't think I could do anything better. But like, I don't know. Lately, every everything I've been doing has been giving me a major boner. So, like, I have major boner stuff coming up. You should stay tuned. <laughs> All I have to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this because, you know, cross promotion, but you were also recently just featured in Hustler Magazine, and it was a photo shoot where you were in complete, uh, was it leopard print? You know, I am not as. <laughs> I'm not going to fact check it, but it was an exotic cat. It was an exotic <laughs> cat. I know that for sure yeah. as well. <laughs> I, I got confused myself. I was like, is that leopard or cheetah? I need to look at the print because they're close. They're cousins. Yeah, um, yeah. One of the two. Yeah. It was very, very, very fierce. Yes, it was. Yeah. And and <laughs> that was that, that was apparently like something that you would uh, were, were surprised about, but also like it turns out to be like something you wanted to check off of your list for a long time. Yeah, uh, at at the time, I had never been on the cover of a magazine, and like since then, I'm now on the cover of three magazines. So uh, it's it's been like really exciting. I love Holly Randall. Um, so it was just another honor. What the fuck? These cool ass people that do dope shit put me on the covers of their stuff. So <laughs> it was like such an honor. I was would have it no other way, mm. and pictures i love them i it was so cool to have a whole spread of myself you know like the whole like (laughs) (laughs) the old school (laughs) centerfold right there yeah Yeah. that's that's how i was feeling i was like wow my god somebody's definitely jacking off i did it ma ma. (laughs) (laughs) that's cool congratulations thank you yeah (laughs) <laughs> so you have something coming up with Playboy. You just finished up a 10-year anniversary of, you said Girls' Way, correct? Yes, yes. Girls' Way for adult time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, do, you, do you have, like, other projects coming up in the near future that you would like to share or announce? Like, I don't mean to put uh, you on the spot here, but <laughs> this is your time to shine with me here, so. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Um, right now, uh, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get something that I can brag about. Uh, I, I'm trying to do some more mainstream stuff, but oh. I have to see if I I have to see if it goes through first. But if it goes through, it's gonna go through. Yeah. So yeah, uh, my butt's gonna. I love it. I love it anytime my butt cheeks are on a big screen. So like that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> a big screen, a big magazine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to see your butt cheeks everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. mainstream stuff is uh is something that uh sometimes it is a challenge for people in the adult industry to get into other times it seems as though it's just a proper fit is this something that you've been chasing for a while um i feel like when i switched into the porn industry i was always kind of like 
willing to still do mainstream but only if it was if it was right mm. and it's just kind of ironic that like i am now like a really big adult star and like all of my mainstream roles most of them have been related to like sex work um so it's really cool having that like bridge between the two yeah. um where my my adult presence influences my mainstream presence first instead of vice versa which you would think it would have did the other way around right um but yeah no i'm i'm always open for projects and this this one just kind of like fits me um and it's it's that it's always it's always i always get the roles because i'm in sex work and because i'm willing to do I'm willing to show people my super threatening titties, you know? So they're like, yeah, she seems cool. Let's have her come show those butt cheeks over here. So uh, I hope it all works out. <laughs> and if it does, then I'll, then I'll be cool. If it doesn't, then I'll still be over here. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, no, I I understand the grind and it's an investment yeah. in yourself, right? Like sometimes it it's, it's hit or miss, right? So you just got to keep at it. But yeah. super threatening titties, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I think that to scare people, you know. <laughs> I gotta start a rumor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm with you. All right, I, I'm, I'm on board. It's fine. <laughs> uh, again, I appreciate your time today, and I know that uh, it's a bit of a, uh, t a schedule that we're up against here. So, um, again, I just want to reiterate the uh, the the graphic novel signing is happening at the Golden Apple in Hollywood's Saturday, August seventeenth. Do you know what time it starts? I believe it's at two. Two. Two o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Nearby. Boom. Yeah. Two p.m. I was right. Okay. And uh, you are going to be there to sign uh, the hard some hard covers there. I'm going to be there to sign the hard covers and like uncomfortably hang out very close to whoever comes in there. Like, I don't know why I, I'm also a little bit blind. So I'm going to be uncomfortably close to people. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Expect me. Yeah. This <laughs> <laughs> no, actually that kind of that kind of checks out because like you said that you know you you get close to people you ask for permission it, i yeah. i can understand that it's just you just trying to get a, an actual grasp of who it is that you're speaking with so yeah yeah i gotta know i yeah. gotta know what's up <laughs> exactly it's a graphic novel uh punch volumes one and two uh i'll, I'll save you the uh the stress of fact checking as uh all the information will be in the description down below of this episode. Uh, before I let you go, uh, it was something I've been asking all of my guests this year is, what was your first paying job? Besides like babysitting like my siblings for like $5 or whatever, um, I think it was Starbucks. Starbucks? Yeah, I think Starbucks was my first paying job and I had never drank coffee before that. Really? So yeah i don't know why <laughs> i applied for a job there um i got the job and i worked there for four years yeah starbucks worth was it worth it <laughs> um no i gained a lot of weight because i was back there eating all this shit like I was making <laughs> yeah. and chocolate syrup caramel and like all those pastries i used to close the store so i'd eat muffins and shit i was like whoosh shit freshman 15 35 uh it was great it was fun <laughs> that's it uh if there's anything else you'd like to share before i end this episode feel free um uh, i'll tell my fans thank you for pulling my butt cheeks and if you don't know me and you need to follow me on my social media it's a n a f o triple x unless you're on instagram it's what dot did dot b dot fox dot say so those dots are periods not d-o-t just periods what did the fox say follow me <laughs> awesome thanks for making it to the end of this episode big thank you to you for watching or for listening or for checking out my website, themediajack.ca. There is where you can find other episodes, other content that I create, as well, a link to the Patreon where you can support my show, all my work, directly. Also, where you could submit ideas, suggestions, or maybe you want to ask a future guest a question. 
Patreon is where you can go for all of that and so much more. And also get a shout out just like Red Wolf Dawn, our executive producer for this month. Big thank you to you once again. And check out themediajack.ca. The merch is there. You can get a really comfortable shirt like this supporting the Media Jack or my partner, the Iron Bikini. Or maybe you just want to get yourself a good mug or a gym shirt or something else that tickles your fancy, themediajack.ca. Take care.